Hi everybody, this is Chris. How are you doing? Today I wanted to talk to you about something a little bit more serious. I know I like to have a lot of fun on my channel, but this is a topic that I myself have had a very hard time with. And it's been a struggle for me my entire life. And I know that there's a lot of other viewers and people out there, especially in the United States, that are suffering from the same issue and um, I guess problem not issue but it's anxiety now for me there's triggers for my anxiety and they're pretty pretty typical money somewhere to live my living situation um, my family oh and my car so those are my four big, oh, and work, I guess. Those are my five triggers. And sometimes I am able to just get them under control, but then sometimes I, I don't know what to do. I just get it so bad. I am pacing. I'm freaking out. I feel like I have to do something. And a lot of the times there's nothing I can do at that time. I just kind of have to wait. And so today my video is about how to help yourself when you are in that situation where you are basically uncontrollable. Like this anxiety is just out of hand. So, the first thing I recommend is to get something familiar. This is my blanket I've had since I was in about, like, fourth grade. It's, um, it was kind of a surprise. My mom just, like, came in one day and was like, oh, I got you a new bedspread. And so, I've had it ever since. My brother's like, that's so old, and it is old. Um... And so sometimes all you need to do is just sit down and have something comfortable um, and something comforting. So I don't know what it would be for you. Maybe it's a blanket. Maybe it's a stuffed animal or maybe it's something else. Maybe it's going and sitting in your car. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. Another thing that I like to do is I like to put my makeup on. So I just grabbed the foundation that I'm using right now. And this is a great way to distract myself. I have noticed that when I'm putting makeup on, I'm really focused on that and nothing else. So definitely recommend putting makeup on. If you're having anxiety and if that's something you enjoy to do, Put some makeup on, it will distract you for a little bit, and maybe by the time you're done, a resolution will have happened. Another thing that I like to do when I have anxiety is a face mask. So I just grabbed one from my collection, and um, this is a sheet mask, but I have tons of other ones. I really like the Mary Kate one, so if you're looking for one, the Mary Kay one is really good. I think it's called like True Clear. That's a really good one. And what I like to do is I like to put my face mask on and I will get my phone, which I don't know where it is. And I have some meditation apps. And I will put my face mask on, turn on my medica meditation, medication app. Well, it is kind of medication. Um, I will turn on my meditation app and Actually, I will show you. I listen to these every day before bed. They're so good. Um, but I have these meditation apps. And you can see that there's different ones. There's ones for losing weight. There's one for anxiety. There's one for attracting wealth. There's one for eating healthy. It just depends on... Oh, and there's one for good night's sleep, too. That one's awesome. And so... It's great because they walk you through a meditation and at the end there is something to kind of like wake you up if you want or if you're having anxiety before bed you can pay a little bit extra some of them I have paid extra for and it will 
not wake you up, it'll just let you continue having a great night's sleep. And I can honestly say that those have worked tremendously for me. So I will, I, I don't know what the name of these are, but um, I will see if I can find a link to them. If you have Apple phones, I can for sure give you a link to them in the, uh, the Apple store, but I'm not sure how to do that for Android because I don't have an Android. But anyways, um, that is another great technique too. And doing that with a face mask, it's just so relaxing. It calms me down so fast. Um, but sometimes what I'll do is if I don't want to do a face mask, I will just listen to one of those. So that's really great. Another huge, like, save me type of thing is family. Family and friends, um, I usually always try and call family first and if nobody in my family is able to talk, I have friends that I will go down a list of friends to talk to too. So, but nine times out of 10, one of my family members will answer and they'll just listen. And they know that sometimes I just have an issue <laughs> where I get stressed out and they just support me and tell me, Chris, it's going to be okay. So I'm really lucky to have family who understands that. Um, another thing that I like to do is look at pictures. So I have, I brought one of my photo albums. This one's kind of older and um, it's not quite all the way filled up, but like I've got pictures like this is the last time I saw my grandma alive and kind of um, all together and stuff. So pictures help a lot. They remind me of when times were good and they remind me that times are going to get better and that this is just a momentary slough. Another thing that I like to do is exercise. I've noticed that high cardio is the best for me when I'm having anxiety. Go for a run um, is usually what I do. And people have even said to me, Chris, have you gone for a run today? You're seeming a little anxious. Like when other people notice that, that's a big deal. So um, exercise is a huge, huge anxiety reliever for me. Um, is lately we've been getting a lot of snow here in Utah to the point where it's, it's really difficult to run on the sidewalks because they're iced over, unfortunately. So what I do is I go to the gym and I will either do the elliptical and I will put it on something hard where I'm sweaty and getting out of breath or my gym, Planet Fitness, also has what's called a 30 minute um, workout and it's basically a circuit and it's really cool because you, there's like stepping things so you're basically stepping on and off of a box for a minute and then you switch to a weight machine and those are great because it goes by fast you can put in a podcast you can listen to some music I love listening to audiobooks while I'm doing that and it just relieves the anxiety. Another thing I do is I'll just go for a walk too. I have noticed that's not really as effective as just exercising for me. So um, there's that. Now, another thing that I haven't tried personally, but um, I've heard is that taking a hot bath or a hot shower really helps too. Um, I get really, really dry skin to the point where if I shower and take a hot bath every day, I get really dry skin, it burns, it itches, it's very uncomfortable for me. So usually what I'll do is I take a shower every day, but sometimes they're very, very quick and they're kind of on the lukewarm 
side of things just and then I have to slather myself in lotion um, just because my skin's so dry. So that's not really something I can personally do because I will be very uncomfortable later. But that's supposed to help. I, I reached out to some friends on Facebook to see what they do um, when they're having anxiety. And some of the things that they said, I still got my blanket, um, really were good ideas. One of them cleans. And I think that's great too. I I love cleaning and vacuuming when I have anxiety, but um, it's not really a go-to thing for me. I'm more focused on like, what can I do to fix a problem? But if somebody suggested that to me, I would absolutely, you know, vacuum or dust or organize a drawer, something to kind of keep you distracted. That's a great idea. Um, another one suggested CBB, CBD oil um now i've tried the gummies and the gummies didn't do much for me for my anxiety but i've heard the oil is way better those are some things that you can do to help yourself when you're at that point where you just can't focus on anything and you're having an anxiety attack and you can't breathe because i know i'm not the only one who's been there and i know that some people just need some advice so if you ever have any questions or ideas feel free to reach out to me i am happy to listen <laughs> and to respond the best way to get in touch with me right now is probably through instagram um you can direct message me there my handle on instagram is chris m Howell 5, like the number 5. So I will post that in my, I'll post all my social media stuff in the description below. Just know that if you do have depression or anxiety, you are absolutely 100% not alone. You have one person here in Utah who absolutely loves you to death and wants you to be the amazing, incredible person that you are, that you're meant to be, and that you have the potential to be. And I know that sometimes it's hard to see your your personal potential, but it's there and you can do it. And I know you can. So I hope you all have a wonderful, amazing, fabulous day. I know that today is Friday. And um, for some of you, that means the weekend. So have a great weekend. For me, I have some work this weekend because I do hair. So my weekends are kind of sporadic. <laughs> so, but um, I actually do have Sunday off. So I will be enjoying my weekend day off as well. I love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Please, please, please help my channel grow and like this video. I have a playlist that I'm working on. So once a week, I will be doing an anxiety or depression video. So you send them my channel, um, send them the playlist. I, but if you have any suggestions, also feel free to leave a comment and tell me because I'm very interested. I also am very active in replying to my comments. So say hi, um, whatever you want. I am happy to read and respond or at least give it a heart. So... Thank you again so much for watching.